I'm crossing to Pete Andoro, who's in Paris. Now, let me tell you why he's there. South Africa, of course, has been experiencing energy challenges. We all know this for a number of years here, with uh, rapid economic growth and the connecting of millions more people to the electricity grid since 1994. Electricity usage has increased exponentially. It's clear that South Africa needs to find new energy sources, and among those, nuclear power is on the horizon but it is safe and can it make a real difference or should I say is it safe that's a, a better way to introduce Peter Ndoro who's in France to find out how that country uses nuclear energy for their electricity needs Paris Paris Peter that is so nice are you loving it are you enjoying exploring <laughs> the city Oui, oui, bonjour tout le monde, uh, bienvenue à Paris. Yes, um, I'm having a great time here. Um, fortunately for me, it's a second trip, and uh, now I sort of kind of know my way around the city a little bit more. But uh, this trip is going to take us right across the country, right to the northwest uh, in Normandy and uh, towards the east near Switzerland as well. So uh, that's where we're going to be visiting a number of nuclear plants, nuclear reactors, uh, just to see the kind of work that uh, France has uh, been getting up to uh, since as early as the 1960s, actually. And uh, hopefully we can learn a few things, given our own nuclear ambition. Yeah. I mean, you know, when, when the word nuclear comes up here in South Africa in conversation, automatically everybody's almost exceptionally alarmist. And there's two things we worry about, the, the safety and secondly, the astronomical cost of it all. What is, um, I suppose you're, go, you're about to begin this, this particular investigative tour, but what, what has been said mm -hmm. so far? How, how, how do they work with, with nuclear? Well, France has been at this uh, a long, long time. I mean, just to give you an indication of, in, in comparison between us and South Africa and uh, France, South Africa um, has two nuclear reactors, and that contributes just 5% uh, to the energy grid, whereas uh, France, they have 59 nuclear reactors, and uh, at one point was uh, contributing more than 75% of uh, the electricity grid in the country. Um, they've been at it since, as I said, 1962. I think the first uh, uh, plant was uh, set up. But Charles de Gaulle was uh, the uh, visionary president at the time of 1945, around about the First World War. He's the one who decided, look, we don't have uh, a lot of uh, resources, but we have great ideas. And so they decided to go the atomic route and uh, some of the benefits of that really has been uh, electricity has been cheap but they've learned and developed a lot of skills over time uh, to mitigate some of the fears that people might have around safety and uh, in in all those years they really have become a world leader in terms of uh, the use of nuclear energy and uh, how it's converted and uh, used safely uh, into electricity in the country yeah. I mean, if we, if we have to look at the, the difference it's made to the lives of French people over the years, um, what is it? H has it? I suppose it's quite difficult because we are talking since the 1960s, so it's a very, very different scenario to mm. South Africa. Well, you know, I think the biggest thing uh, probably is that it can be so much cheaper uh, than the forms of uh, electricity that we're using, and that's uh, mainly fossil fuels. I mean, a lot of ours is, is, uh, comes through coal. Um, in fact, a, a study that was done a few years ago uh, showed that France's um, was the seventh cheapest amongst the 27 uh, countries in the European Union uh, in terms of um, uh, prices to households and also prices to uh, 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 companies. So pricing can be significantly lower and that perhaps might be a benefit given uh, some of the challenges that we're having in terms of uh, ESCOM uh, needing to raise prices to pay for some of its projects. And also of course importantly if we think about COP21 which happened just now, uh, the carbon footprint is so much lower uh, because they're not using fossil fuels. So it's a cleaner energy um, and the carbon fr uh, footprint is so much lower uh, because there's less CO2 emissions. So those are some of the benefits, I would say, cost and also the uh, carbon footprint um, that uh, France has been able to, in to, to enjoy. Yeah, just um, you, you said to us you've got an exceptionally busy week ahead of you and I, and I know you're going to be visiting a lot of the sites, mm. but just give us an idea of, of exactly where it is you're going and, and, and by the end of it, hopefully you'll, you'll be able to educate us as South Africans more on nuclear. 
Yeah, look, like today we're going to be going to uh, the northwest of the country. Uh, it's quite near England, actually, near the English Channel, uh, a province called Normandy. And uh, there are a few plants there um, at Flamanville, uh, three actually that we're going to take a look at. Uh, some of it is under construction. They're building new age nuclear reactors. They've learned a lot, uh, uh, particularly post accidents such as Fukushima in uh, Japan. And so we're going to be seeing some state of the art uh, nuclear reactors out there. And then we'll also be going to uh, the west of the country as well to see uh, other plants. In between, we're going to be learning and finding out um, how the industry has developed. Um, their techniques in terms of um, skills development, training, uh, how young people have been brought into the industry, um, and also things like waste management and waste recovery, um, their preparedness for any accident, their, their prevention methods, and uh, uh, reaction training as well, just in case there's an accident. A lot of things that I think we can learn uh, from them. And uh, you know that France wants to become a nuclear partner with South Africa. So as a world leader and uh, having had uh, a history of their own uh, spanning decades, uh, perhaps there are some things that we can learn from them and yeah. uh, we're going to get to the bottom of those, hear their story and see what we can learn uh, from uh, France in South Africa. Wonderful. We look forward to chatting to you in the week. Peter and Dora, thank you very, very much. I'm not going to tell you to go back to bed because I know you're only an hour behind us, but nonetheless, we, we interrupted <laughs> your sleep ahead of a very busy day. But Peter, thank you so much for chatting to us. Live from France, <laughs> Peter is there with the rest of uh, or some of our morning live team and they, of course, are going to be reporting on nuclear in France.